In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to assemble this twinkle little star backdrop perfect for baptisms or even first birthdays. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell button. First of all, make sure that you are either using a blackout curtain or you covered the window such that light won't shine through. Here's a sample photo of a tool backdrop with sunlight shining through. But of course, if you're having the party at night, then you can skip this step. Hang the Christmas lights over the curtain rod multiple times. Feel free to add more lights. The more lights, the better. Hang the tool panels over the curtain and Christmas lights. I used a total of 6 panels with 60 inches width and 8 feet length. Now let's hang the backdrop name which we taught you how to make in one of our previous tutorials. If you haven't watched it yet, the link is in the description box below. Tie a knot in your nylon or fishing line before taping it to the back of your name. Make sure that you tape it right after the knot so that the string won't slide through. Do the same to the other side. Then you can hang the name by tying the strings to your curtain rod or by using safety pins to secure the strings to your curtain. I have the star garland which comes with a ribbon and plastic needle. If you don't have this on hand, you can just cut stars using the extra glitter foam that you used for the backdrop name. Because I want the stars to look scattered, I'll just use safety pins to put the stars on the backdrop. For the balloon garland, I'm using standard size 12 white balloons. Inflate two balloons at a time and tie together to form a duplet. And then, combine two duplets to make a quad. I used about 12 quads for the balloon garland. Make sure to inflate the balloons in different sizes to get an organic look to your balloon garland. Get your string and tie the clusters together to make the balloon garland.
Once you're done, hang the balloon garland to your curtain rod. Lastly, inflate small balloon stars using your balloon pump. Glue the tail of the balloon to the back so it looks neat. You can also use your glue gun to stick the stars to your balloon garland. Just make sure that you don't let the metal tip of your glue gun touch the rubber balloon so they won't pop. 